In this video, I'll be using group policy to set home page, new tab page, and enable home button in Microsoft Edge. I'm starting this video from my GitHub page, and that's because there are a few bits of information here that I will be using for this video. And I will leave the URL in the description down below. Also, in the bottom of the page, you can find more of my videos that are related to this topic. For example, here you can find videos about my Windows Server setup, and there is also a video about installing policy templates for managing Microsoft Edge settings via group policy. And here you can see the objective for this video. I will be setting google.com as my homepage, DuckDuckGo as my new tab page, and also I will be enabling the home button. And here you can also find all the policy settings and values that I will be using in this video. And now I'll begin this video by going to my VMware workstation where I have my Windows Server environment. And here I will be creating my group policy, so I'll go to Tools, Group Policy Management, I will right click on Group Policy Objects and select New. I will name the policy Edge Settings, then I will click OK. I will expand Group Policy Objects, I will select the policy that I created, then I will right click on it and select Edit. And because I will be creating this policy for my computer, so I will go to Computer Configuration, Policies, Administrative Templates, Microsoft Edge, and then start Top Home Page and New Tab Page. And first I will be enabling the home button, so I'll click on show home button on toolbar, then I will enable this policy, click apply and OK. Then I will configure this policy setting right here, set the new tab page as home page. And that's because by default Microsoft Edge has the same web page for the home page and the new tab page. And that means that this setting is enabled, so we need to disable it and this will allow us to have different pages for the new tab page and also for the home page. Then I will click apply and OK. After that, I will configure the homepage by clicking on configure the homepage URL. I will enable this policy and for homepage URL, I will enter HTTPS google.com. Then I will click apply and OK. After that, I will be configuring the new tab page URL. So for that, I will click on configure the new tab page URL. I will click on the setting. I will enable it. I will type here HTTPS. DuckDuckGo.com. Then we can click apply and OK. And that's basically it. Now we can close this window. Let's go to details. And for GPO status, I'll select user configuration settings disabled because currently this policy has only computer settings in it. And I will leave all other settings on default. Now, after creating the policy, I need to assign it to an organization unit that is holding the computers on which I want to deploy the settings. In my case, the organization unit will be this one, it's called computers, and it is holding all the computers in my domain. So to assign the policy, I will click and hold on the policy and then drag and drop it on the organization unit. And as you can see, the policy appeared in the list here and also in the list here. And that's basically it. Now to test this policy, I will go to one of my client machines that I have here and I will open Microsoft Edge. And as you can see, by default, it opens up the Microsoft starting page. And that's because even though I created the policy, I didn't give it enough time to update on my client machines. So I'll do it manually. And for that, I will go to my start menu, search for CMD. Then I will press enter to open it. And here I will type GP update, press enter and wait a bit. And as you can see, the policy update was successful. If I go back to Microsoft Edge and close it, then if I reopen it, this time it opens up DuckDuckGo as my starting page. If I open another tab, it also opens DuckDuckGo. And if I go to my home page with the home button, it goes to google.com. And this means that the policy is working just fine. And that's basically it for this video. Like and subscribe if you want to see more videos like this. And see you in the next one.